Hua. Welcome to the Take a Listing Today podcast, where our hosts, Jim Studebaker and Todd Robertson, give you strategies to get you out of the office right now so you can take a new listing today. And now, here's Jim and Todd. Hey, welcome hey. back to the Take a Listing Today podcast. I'm Jim and there's Todd. And our wonderful producer, Lisa Gray. Hi. There she is again. Speaking of Lisa, I'm a little upset at our audience, Todd. How come? We only got 13 likes and subscribes. We're uh, never going to win this contest with Lisa if we're only getting that much. Could we actually have people... What like, do they have to do, Lisa? Maybe it's a educational barrier. Um, no, just keep asking. Like and subscribe. You could... I know. No, I'm could. saying how, how does somebody... How do our viewers and listeners like and subscribe? What do they... How do they go into their oh, iPhone, go into okay. podcast or right. something? Well, obviously to subscribe on YouTube, you just click on right below where you're watching the video you'll see where it says subscribe you hit that button and you are now subscribed and you'll be notified when a new episode nice drops. all right that's how you do it on youtube and then of course there's the little thumbs up underneath the video as well hit that thumbs up button and okay. you've liked us and if they're listening to it on like iheart or I Apple Heart, you can actually subscribe as well so on let's say on on um iPod on uh, Apple on the Apple iPod app. It's mm -hmm. a little purple app. Yeah. If you're listening to uh, a podcast like ours that you mm -hmm. like, in the upper right hand corner, there's a plus sign. That's all you have ah. to do is hit that plus sign, and now right. you're following that podcast, and the new episodes will drop in to your feed. You go in there, nice. and they'll be waiting for you. Perfect. So you got to do that. Would be a goal for 24 to subscribe to this so that way you always have the best information on how you can take new listings. Correct. You don't have to go research it. Ding. It's on your phone. Listen to it. It's short, right. brief, fun. Right. Yeah. Well, and, and they, you know, agents spend so much time in their cars. Mm -hmm. So now you got something to listen to. Right. You know, there's never anything good on the radio. Right. But on a podcast, listen to it. Most of our podcasts are on the short side. So right. listen to a few minutes of the podcast. I thought Maybe she was going to say most of our podcasts are good. <laughs> <laughs> All of them are good. Most are on the short side. But yeah, listen to a few minutes. You never know when you're going to get the breakthrough idea. Exactly. Or at least get re-inspired. Right, right, right. Yes. Right. Now, here's an idea to re-inspire you. Are you ready for this? Let's do it. How about some next level real estate marketing? Fresh ideas Ooh. for memorable campaigns. This is going to be a great one. It does sound great. I'm excited to just say it. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Over the past few years, direct mail real estate marketing has seen a resurgence. Because it works. Yes, experts chalk it up to the <clears throat> overuse of email marketing, but direct mail outperforms most digital marketing tactics, according to the National Association of Advertisers. Direct mail marketing's response rate ranges from about five to nine times greater than that of email, paid search, or social media, according to the pros at Data it's a long website, data targeting solutions.com. All run together there. But that is actually a good topic. Direct mail is five to nine times greater than email or paid search or social media. The response rate, yeah. That's and incredible. that's what it's all about, right? The ROI. It's not about right. sending it out there the cheapest way. It's about the way that's going to get you the most right. for your buck. And, and I've had a lot of conversations every week with realtors that, oh, no, I used to do that. I'm doing all digital now. I've gone digital. How's that going for you? Yeah, but guess what? <laughs> be my next right. Here's what's interesting. <coughs> most of them come circle back at some point yeah. and go, oh, is my area still available? I'm going to do Market Dominator. Yeah. So, you know, we can't beat them up. Yes, let's research that for you. So they quit doing that thing. And, oh, I, don't, I don't need that expense that tax right, write-off right. which wasn't much anyway and you know a lot of areas the mailbox is less crowded now yep. right other agents so you are the one potentially showing up every month great point less, less competition we know that because we talk about it every week right we know what people get in their mailbox right all right so doing some uh real estate marketing with direct mail leaves the door open for agents seeking an additional marketing vehicle a way to stand out now a few years ago scientists we have scientists involved. Yeah, now, now we have scientists. It's getting very A year scientific. ago, we didn't have scientists. Wow. Not at all. We weren't even near that. <laughs> scientists at Temple University's School of Business teamed up with the Postal Service to study the circumstances under which email or direct mail was more effective. Oh, I love it. And the results, postcards were more effective in five of the nine tests performed. The most popular postcard agents are familiar with are the time-tested 
Oh my. The most popular yep. postcard. Oh, tongue how about, twister. How about some some commas in here? Would that be appropriately? <laughs> yeah. How about just the just less it just sold? Yeah. Just the most, or maybe a, a preposition. Is that the right word? The most popular postcard that agents are familiar with. Uh, that's a filler <laughs> word. Go. That is a filler word. Are <laughs> the time tested, just listed, and just sold postcards, which are still highly effective. To stand out further in this market, consider a local market update on the postcard back or a QR code leading to a valuable direct response flyer opt-in. The winner last week had a QR code on That's it. right, yeah. actually. Just and that. That, Roger, and that was a very impressive card last week. It was. Well, and, and speaking of market update postcards, Prospects Plus makes it super easy. You don't have to go and research and gather this information right. for your local area. All you have to do is put the look up the local market stats series on Prospects Plus. Go and look that up. Go find it. Search mm -hmm. in the search. This sounds bar. like a lot It'll of work. Right now I got to figure out the local market stats. No, right. no. Oh. All you have to do is pick your card that you like. They're already designed for you, so pick okay. from the selection, mm -hmm. and you will pop into the editor and the zip code that you have on file for your marketing in your profile on Prospects Plus will auto populate the local market stats for you. What? You don't have to do oh, anything. And if that. you want to Yay. <laughs> and if you want to if you want to choose a different zip code, you can go ahead and change that zip code and get information the stats for another zip code as well. Now, if you have another postcard that you you're just you're darn tootin' set on Sunday, and let's say it's a just listed just sold something like that, we have postcard backs that are local market stats that uh -huh. will automatically populate. So if you can't put it on the front, you can put it on the back. You don't have to worry about doing the research. It's easy peasy in seconds. Zip codes in and the information populates. Sweet. So, I mean, there's no reason not to do it. If you order a news community newsletter or the market dominator, those products also have that zip code automated market stat update within it. So you will get that populated in all of those marketing products. And that, that, and that gets people uh, outside of the other stuff, but that gets them to say, ooh, I want to read this because they all want to know the mo Everybody local does. stats. I don't care whether you're, you're right. ready to sell right now or not. Mm -hmm. You're just thinking about it. Everybody wants to know what's going on in their neighborhood, what things are worth. Right. And a lot of agents probably aren't doing that because it's a pain. But now with prospectsplus.com, you click no. a button and it fills it in. Yep, for you automatically. Right, it gives yeah. you so the kind of nice. aerial view of your. Of All your, right. Uh, yep. So in addition to that, how about some real estate niches that you can drill down to and focus on to stir up some interest? This is my favorite part. People can make a ton of money by doing this right here. They could. Yeah. How about these popular ones, including baby boomers, high income renters, expired. Listings, not expired people. Absentee <laughs> owners, Fizbos, move yeah, up they, markets. They won't respond. Only his lot. mind. Not very good. <laughs> and investors. Now we also have some obscure niches, including divorce, foreclosure, estate sales. Well, I guess they expired. Right. And <laughs> notices of default. If you want to go after the Halloween, he's still got Halloween and in his mind. Prospectsplus.com <laughs> has done for you postcard designs for every one of those niches you just mentioned. Wow. You don't have to design any of those. You don't have right. to spend any time on Canva designing because that's not where you're going to make your money. Pop on to Pos uh, exactly. Postcards Plus, type in the niche you're going to Creating after. is hard, clicking is easy. Yeah, Postcards um, will come up. I wrote down one cool thing here, and and we all get this in our mailbox, and those listening probably get it in theirs. So there are a couple of realtors that hit my neighborhood quarterly. So er, quarterly. Mm -hmm. Um. Nobody hits it monthly. So think about that by just doing a campaign, by setting it up mm -hmm. and it's done. If you get scared or go through a tough time, you could pause it and regroup. Right. But do the campaign. Think about Agent A, Agent B. And you guys already know this. Agent A is going to send a postcard to this area four times a year. Not bad. Agent B is going to go every single month. When you and your significant other decide you have to sell, who are you going to go with? Well, perception is Agent A is trying to save money. Mm -hmm. Agent B is a marketing machine. Right. I'm going And, there. you know, another thing, I, I think a lot of times agents, they'll, they'll get a, have a closing, they'll have a little extra money handy, and they think, oh, I'm going to just do a mailing. And they grab 600 addresses, and they slap out, or 800 addresses, and they throw that mailing Good out point. there. Good point. And they're, oh, I didn't got nothing from them. I'm not doing that anymore. I would rather you do... A mailing that goes out every month for a year with only a hundred names on so, that yeah, list, a hundred totally. addresses. You're only spending a hundred dollars a month, 
and you've got that continuity of it getting in front of them month after month after month, that is more, that is better. You will get a better ROI on that than a one-time mailing to a big list. Mm -hmm. So really think about that. If you've got that extra money, plan it, strategize, stay in front of that audience. I beg of you, stay in front of that audience. We see it again and again and again that people, agents will stop. Three months later, all of a sudden they'll get a call out of the blue right. because somebody held on to that postcard for months. Can you imagine how many more people would be calling you for the months right. that you missed that you weren't sending? So do not make the assumption that one time is enough. It is not enough. The big guys out there will show you again and again, like Coca-Cola, it is not enough to say, here's who we are and go right. away. Yep. They stay out there. They repeatedly are in front of their audiences and the you have to guys, do it as well. The big guys go every couple of weeks. Oh, oh, absolutely. It could be once a month. It could be well, a bi-weekly yes, campaign. Yes, it can. It can be weekly. And, it can be daily. And you know, a real life example of that is Monster Energy Drink. So I remember even 10 plus years ago, there were other companies trying to compete with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All these other companies, boom, boom, boom. And you're thinking kind of like what we talked about pizza. Yeah. Well, they've outlasted or out pivoted or out CEO'd or something because you see them at sporting events. You see yeah. them on the mat at, at fights. Yeah. They're um, staying in front. They're staying in front of their audience. Yes. And if you do not see a name, you think it's gone. Yeah, That's yeah. the assumption nowadays because it is so competitive. Yeah. If I don't see something out there, I assume we were just saying pizza. No, pizza is still in business. Yeah, they're still in business because you don't see them anymore. Right. We, and they don't do commercials anymore. So that's the assumption we have as consumers. So you have to stay in front of them. Grab a list of 100, 150, 200, whatever right. you can afford. But stay in front of them. Make a commitment to yourself. Do not stop. Do not stop. You'll, you'll be disappointed if you do. You know, another great marketing product that you should not stop, or if you're not doing it yet, you should start. <coughs> How about some direct response reports? <coughs> that was oh, a yeah. very popular. Yeah, they are a great educational tool filled with valuable information that homeowners appreciate. You can share them on social media as a free offer. You can include them in your email newsletter as a free offer. Add them to your website as an opt-in in exchange for an email address or Add them to your listing presentation folder and pre-listing packet. And what's great about this is everybody knows, or maybe might not know, but direct response marketing has been around for a long time for one reason, because it works. Yeah. It's like the law of reciprocity. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, and again, for those who are on a budget or you haven't been to our site before, go to prospectsplus.com and sign up for the marketing emails oh yes and on sunday you will get a direct response report email for a free download these are 20 dollar downloads you're going to get it for free now you've got a report in your hands right now you can do all the things we just talked about you've got a digital report that you can print out and mm -hmm. your listing presentation and the reports are timely too so it's something that's gonna be of value to you right now right you can go on your social media post that report uh, tell and maybe post part of it so they can't see all of it and say, hey, you want this report? Direct message me and I'll get it to you or text me at this number and I'll send it to you because now you've got a phone number from somebody, right? Right, right. Uh, or email it or put it on your website. This is how you can get started for free. There is no reason every person listening to the show mm -hmm. should be doing what I just said. Go to Prospects Plus. Uh, sign up for the marketing emails and get that email on Saturday with a free download and you can get started using direct response reports for nothing. Love it. It costs nothing. nothing. We give stuff away on the show <laughs> and we get money away on the show. And you know, there, know, there's something else they give away, which I don't know if this is top secret or not, but oh. I'm, going, I'm going to blab because it's also our next topic. Oh, okay. what about a personally branded mm. agent magazine? That sounds complicated, though. Wait, how, how would wait. I do it? Prospects Plus gives that away. Wait a minute. Do they still do that? Yes. Okay. Oh. You know, if you, you didn't hear it from me. If you <laughs> sign up for an account on prospectsplus.com, they will actually mail you a sample of a magazine that's personalized to you. Yep. Is this place like independently wealthy? Do I, they I, not need to charge for anything? I think. I think they're, yeah, they're philanthropic. Here's what's great about that magazine. It gives you so much credibility. Yeah, Let, it really let's does. say you're at the listing presentation and they say, oh, you know what? We're going to interview three or four other agents and watch you pull out your magazine from your brief and it has objection handling mm -hmm. uh, uh, articles in it. And it's, mm -hmm. it's beautifully yeah. done. I mean, it looks so expensive. Right. It is a level up piece. Speaking I mean, of level up, up, a, up, a lot of great agents send that ahead of time or drop it off in their pre-listing package. Yeah. Because now you walk in as a little bit of celebrity status as opposed right. to just, a, you know, here's a self-made business card. Yeah. And, yeah. And you it, can you can mail them. 
uh, to people in your sphere, to your farm. You can have a box of them shipped to you. You can order just one if you want. Right, right. You don't have to speak to a sales rep. Are there other companies out there that may do a personally branded agent magazine? I don't mm-hmm. know, but I know one thing. We're the only company where you don't have to actually get on the phone and over two months develop a magazine. These are done for you. The best direct response articles that are timely to what's going on in the market right, right now are in this magazine. Everything is done. There's some fun recipes, everything that a consumer would want to look at, that a homeowner would want to look at, information they would want to know. It's already been done for you. All you have to do is get on Prospects Plus. You can get this thing ordered in probably under five minutes because, mm-hmm. again, it's done for you. And it it's is, beautiful. You don't yeah. have to add anything to it. And if you want to get your free one when you sign <laughs> up, make sure you upload your photo yep. in your company logo because yep. those will be on the magazine as right, well. Right, because you don't get it otherwise. If those aren't, if they don't mm. upload their logo and their right. great, right. great so, point in their photo, they won't get that So free. just make sure your profile is all perfect because yep. it will be built from that. To yes, that it will. And if okay. the, those things are missing, the only, only people that complete their profile will get that in the mail. Okay. Yeah. All right. So definitely go do that. Now, the last next l- the last next, next la- level. What? <laughs> the last next level. I'm checking you for glasses. That's she, did it. We, she's giving you tongue twisters. Did now. we do this do at the want, last minute? Do you want to is... put my glasses on? <laughs> I, I can see what it says. It just makes no sense. The last <laughs> next level. It just marketing. doesn't make any sense. No, I, marketing. The, the name of this whole podcast is Next Level Marketing. So the last next oh. level marketing that we're talking about is scheduled oh. campaign. Schedule oh, campaign. Well, since you put it like that, I guess it makes more sense. Okay. I the mean, last next, next level, level marketing, marketing, we'll just go along with it, right? Is a scheduled postcard campaign. <laughs> when clients need a real estate agent, it pays to have an easily recognizable name at their fingertips. But coming up with fresh eye-catching content and sticking to a regular schedule of sending this content out is incredibly time-consuming. A scheduled recurring postcard campaign is the easiest way to maintain brand exposure and stay relevant while freeing time for more high-level tasks. According to the Lens Cold Group, 78% of marketers reported that marketing automation increased revenue. And 75% of brands saw a return on investment within 12 months due to using automated marketing campaigns. And that, of course, is a focus research study. Now, launching a scheduled campaign is the best way to make every moment count in your business. Raise your brand profile and stay relevant. And listen to this. Prospectsplus.com offers over 40 scheduled postcard campaigns, including Sphere, Farm, Renters, Absentee Owners, Holiday, and other niche markets. Other niche markets. And you know what? I can't tell you how many times I've had conversations with people that have done our market dominator, our VIP program that right is a one year campaign. Um, used to be a two year campaign. Now we made it one year to make it easier for them. But, um, after they fulfill their campaign, you know, um, if they keep mailing, it's theirs, right? If they want out, they're out, but it's very interesting. A lot of them have got to the point. They're like, wow, my business is very good. Now I've had this conversation and, and here's how it goes. Indirectly, it goes like this. Well, I've had this. Well, I built my business to this. Well, I don't need that expense anymore. Right. And then two or three, four months later, uh, they call back. Um, 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 is my area still available? <laughs> Something happened. The phone right. stopped ringing. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> right. Because you showed up larger than life. And then it's mm-hmm. like Shakey's Pizza or Pizza right. Hut. It's like, yeah. well, okay, I didn't get there. Yeah. Oh, that agent must have retired. So they whatever. Picked, they picked the campaign back up in the areas that it was still available right. and said, boom, now I'm going. I'm not. I'm, yeah, I'm not because stopping. that campaign is exclusive, isn't it? Yes. That if they're in an area, nobody else can be in that area. Good point. That's our so, only exclusive product. So they, so. If they lose it. But you are, on the flip side, you have people that have been in these market dominant campaigns for years yes. and years and years. Six right? or seven years. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, if it works, I mean, they're smart. They know it right, works. Right. Why in the heck would I? That's the funny thing with us human beings. Something's working. Oh, I think I'll mess with it. You well, th- I mean? th- think right? about yeah. think about the day in the office that we pulled up uh, or in the conference room. We pulled up the top <clears throat> people and we wanted to see what kind of marketing do they do? Very yeah. interesting. You know, they all do the market dominator and then they go after some niches and they have yep. some of their own stuff they do. Just listed, mm-hmm. just sold. Yes. Yep. So, so that yep. was cool to see on the screen. Right? <laughs> and yeah, that's something that the, that the agent doesn't have to think about. Right. You sign up for it and it just goes out. Yeah. Correct. Not you don't have you. to get out of bed and it goes right. out to all of your right, right. people. Right. Passive right. marketing. Yeah. Yep. Make money while you're sleeping. 
All right, well, those are the ways you can bring your marketing up to the next level. And be memorable. <laughs> be memorable. Because you're using fresh ideas. <laughs> it Very says good. be memorable. Remember, I, 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 read what I, I just like your style at times. <laughs> how he punches those Yeah, lines. how he punches those exciting. More exciting here. I, I'm excited. Can you I give know. him some more dot, dot, dots next time in between his thoughts? And maybe a comma here and there. You know, that would be nice. <laughs> okay. Maybe we're asking right. too much here. We are asking a lot here. Oh, hey, we're asking a lot as well. Oh, too. Cool. favorite time of the show. Yes. Yes, look at that. We have a large stack of the folks in the print shop at prospectsplus.com has given us some postcards. They, now, must, uh, they like... must have thought that we're not going to get too many people to answer today. Well, However, we are because we have picked. Yes, we're picking right card. now. And uh, oh, it's a team. Thank goodness. So if one doesn't answer, the other will. Famous last words. <laughs> in okay. theory. We'll see. William and... Um, we're just going to go with William, okay? okay. <laughs> um, the other person's name is not on here. Four, two, three. William's wife? Oh, Eight, wait, one, hold on, hold on one second. Exactly. Right, okay. Four, two, three. 9800. Now that seems like an office number to me. Uh-oh. I think people should put their cell, right? Have it go directly to you. William? Okay. Hello, Hello William. Hey, William. This is Jim and Todd and Lisa with the Take a Listing Today podcast. We're calling on behalf of ProspectsPlus.com. I believe you sent out a postcard with that fine company recently, a just sold card. Oh, fantastic. Thanks for calling. Sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. All right. Yeah. Well, you're, our go you're our go to for, uh, you know, just listed, just sold cards. Awesome. And, uh, in this great electronic age, you know, um, you know, it that uh, some people still like getting some some mail in their mailbox. You know, and it's a uh, quick, easy, clean, professional. So it gets gets to the point, and uh, your card looks great. Was, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. Well, you you did it. You know, congratulations. <laughs> well, that's kind of looks great. Good job yeah. for you. Sh share with Good our job for you. Thank you. Right. Share with our viewers where you guys sell real estate and how to get in contact with you if they have referrals. Right. Yes, I'm in Cleveland, Tennessee, which is right next to Chattanooga. I uh, just so you know, I grew up. Uh, I used to own the Remax in the Lee oh. High Acres, Florida area. I grew up in the Fort Myers area. Oh, nice! Yeah, it's just down the road there. Yeah, yeah we're, been we're, we're in Bradenton, Sarasota. Yeah, yeah, I've been uh, selling real estate since 1981. So we wow. spent 30, 30 plus years in Florida, and and uh, uh, years ago, it was like Forrest Gump quit running. You know, part of the <laughs> it just said, it just said, I don't want to run no more. So. I woke up one day, I sold half of Miami houses in Lehigh Acres, you know. Right. Wow. So, uh, so I said, uh, I don't feel like, you know, I just want to move to Tennessee. <laughs> and they're like, where are you going? You're the owner of the company. You know, I'm like, I, I, I'm, leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving, you know. Are you going yeah. with me or not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we just love it here. You got four mild seasons. We got a great mm -hmm. economy. Cleveland, Tennessee, and Bradley County is um, – uh, a good county. It's a blessed county, and uh, fourteen Fortune uh, five hundred companies. Wow. You got wow. You got more. You got more jobs. Or you actually got more jobs available than unemployed people. Wow, that's wonderful. So, yeah. so it reminds me a lot of Lee County, which is pro business. You know, pro landlord, uh, highly uh, Republican. You know what I mean? Right. So it, it, it's just a good area. And you can buy homeowners insurance without a hassle. Oh man! Oh, don't, okay, Florida. don't remind yes. us. Don't remind yes. us. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> beautiful. Share with them yeah. how to get in touch with you. Um, okay, you can call me at uh, my cell phone. Call direct four two three eight one three ninety eight hundred. Beautiful. Four two three eight one three ninety eight hundred. My email. My email is experience Tennessee at gmail dot com. Got it. All awesome. spelled out. All, All right. spelled out. Well done. That's you know nice. what? Um, pleasure connecting with you. This has been great. Um, you're going to inspire some people out there. This is our favorite part of the show, Jim. Tell them what we do next. It is favorite. William, uh, since you do a lot of postcards that just listed that just sold through prospectsplus.com, we'd like to give you a $100 gift card for just about anything on the prospectsplus.com website. But there's a catch. Fantastic. But there's a catch. Right. Before you say fantastic, <laughs> all you have to do is answer a simple take a listing today <laughs> podcast trivia question. And if you need Lisa to help you, she's over here. She's always on your side. Okay, are, are you game for that? 
Sure. Sure. All right. We, we have to have some fun, William, right? I mean, yeah, that'd, be, yeah. that'd be boring if we just gave away the gift card, right? <laughs> right. All right. William, I'm going to read you the question and three possible answers. Just give me the correct answer. Are you ready? Sure. Here we go. What is a mountain chicken? Is it A, a, mount a mountain chicken? This doesn't sound right, William. I don't know where he's getting these questions from. <laughs> But, you know, unlike Florida, we have mountains in Tennessee, so oh, maybe, you, maybe you're okay. you know, in the right place for this. Okay. It's a mountain chicken, A, a squirrel, B, a frog, or C, a chicken? <laughs> That's got to be a trick question. Say, yeah, it's probably a trick question, but I have to go with chicken, you know. You're going to go with the chicken? Th that, I'm gonna go with That's the what chicken. I was leaning towards as well. All right. Let's see a chicken. Oh, all Whoops. right. Hey, he's been a trooper. Let's give him another question. He's been amazing. What was the answer to that stupid question? The, the answer is a frog. Okay, what? In a the mountain world? chicken is a frog. Well, and that hardly seems fair to me. I don't even get how the yeah. cor how a correlation yeah. could happen there. Yeah, I don't agree, but I understand the point. Right. <laughs> I think I think your dad is incorrect. <laughs> We'll have our researchers would, take a look at that. I would refute that. I used to argue with my math teacher at school. <laughs> and you know, and I bet you won. Got that. that answer is wrong. Yeah. They're looking at it. They're looking that at number it can't like, be right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're like, oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you are wow. right. Yeah. Anyways, go ahead. All right. Well, let, here we go. Another question. Hopefully, this is the uh, fact the checkers uh, this know this is one. correct. All right. Next question. Lisa, will you speak up, please? Okay, all right. Obviously, I mean. William yeah. needs help, all okay? Right. We're ready. She just pulled, she pulled her phone out so she can help you out here. Your question. What is the national animal of Scotland? Oh, this is easy. Of course it is. <laughs> of course. Is it A? Scotland. Scotland, yes. Is it A, the wild boar? B, the Scottish wildcat? Or C, the unicorn. Huh. I wonder if it, we we should see what it is. What could we see it to be? Lisa. William, did, can, did you, can get the you hint? see the answer, William? See <laughs> it. Yeah. What might your answer be, William? Um, uh, let's try C. Oh, Jim, Jim. Wow. That man is brilliant. I had no clue you would go for C, which is the unicorn. That's not even a real animal, is it? Well. Well, does that matter? Does I don't know really why you matter? would pick that, but let's uh, see. See, get it? Let's see. Let's, let's see. see a unicorn. Oh! oh! Wow. The unicorn is the national animal of Scotland. Todd. What does William win today? William, you are going to get a $100 gift card uh, from Lisa. So check your email for just about anything on the website and some swag from the Take a Listing Today podcast. So thanks for being a trooper and congratulations on your move out there. Sounds like you guys are loving it. Oh, yeah, we're on a roll. Thank you. Thank you, William. Have a great Thank day. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> you, you perked up when you heard about the card. <laughs> First time two out of two. I just yeah. don't even know what to say. This is seriously the first time ever. That's happened, right? <laughs> yes. In 100 and 166 <laughs> shows. Wow. Good energy. Good energy. Wow. Must be. Mm. We'll tell Billy we don't need all that. Just give us two cards this time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're good. Exactly. All right. Anything else? Please no, that's a great show. A lot of ideas. Mm -hmm. Get out there and execute. Exactly. Get out on assignment. Go we, on we, assignment. We have put you on assignment. Get out there. On the assignment. <laughs> All right, and coming up soon is our famous Christmas show. Right? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Ah, what are I we don't want to do year? it on the mountain like we did that one year. It was freezing up there. It was freezing, yeah. but it was fun once we got down you, from the mountain. Right. You, exactly. had that, you had that shirt that was like strangling you. It was on your head. Yeah. It was over well, your face. I don't have much hair anymore, neck. so I had to have something up there. <laughs> Right, I'm trying to help out. Maybe we'll do yeah. it at the uh, at the lodge like we normally do. We did it at the lodge a few years ago. That was nice. We had yeah. the fireplace. I didn't have the fireplace, so no. I was. Oh, back that's in the right. Studio. Somebody's got to man the studio. Right, so. you and I have to go right. on location, and she's right. got to stay back. And I'll the... just hold the lighter. That'll be okay. my fireplace. <laughs> well, yeah, poor thing. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye.